had a pretty cool idea uh, today. So it is the month of July, and July is actually when I started the uh, Pet Battle blog back in July of 2013. So, excuse me, what I did is I went back and I looked at some of those early teams that I did a write-up on, and I figured I'll play with them today. See, again, um, it's the uh, sign of the critter event. Lots of new players in the queue, a lot of different teams. So it's a good time to try out. And uh, Well, I guess this isn't new stuff. This is far from new stuff. This is very old stuff. Some of these teams are actually pretty good. Uh, we got an Imp with a... Uh, let's start off with this one. <laughs> start off with a W. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a W. Uh, let's see. Stampede. I didn't really check the move sets when I put these teams together. So, yeah, that seems about right. Okay, so what's, what was this team um, designed around? Well, the Nether, Feather Dra <laughs> Nether Fairy Dragon putting uh, Moonfire up. Then the Fiendish Imp heals, get, gets extra heals from it, from its humanoid racial. And then uh, Creeping Fungus does extra damage um, in Moonlight. And then if you, can, if you can have Creeping Fungus up in Moonlight with Immolation going and you Stampede, it's huge, okay? Um pretty much overkill but let's see let's see uh let's try it all right um so yeah this is where are they now you know like what how, how are these teams uh how are these teams gonna do now well you know you know i still love the imp it fell out of favor in warlords but it's uh it's back in legion so let's see there's another player running rich girls now actually i think i might be okay here this guy can do a pretty decent job against uh, uh, uh against undead so i might just be able to do a straight up trade here which i wouldn't mind at all i wouldn't mind trading pets and then maybe if if it even beats me by a round then um oh those misses were nice if it beats me by a round then i can just uh gate it out make it waste its turn um i'm i was gonna say i may even win but no i'm not gonna win ouch oh i've been facing so dude really oh i missed twice okay so um now is what I was telling you about, that scenario where I'm going to bring the imp in. And, well, they can't do anything anyway, so I don't really need to do that. So what do I want to do here? Um, I'm going to bring the imp in and get my emulation going. Now, I imagine they're going to bring the Nightshade in. Nightshade Sproutling in and try to juke. Oh, no, I'm sorry. They're going to try. They're going to bring the Blood Beak in. <laughs> Did I get it in before time? Because that's what I was thinking. And then they're going to try to juke me right here. But what if they don't try to juke me? I'm going to take huge damage. I'm not going to take the chance. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this. Good damage right there on that, that guy. So... Um, maybe that wasn't the right call to make because now we get a darkness here. I can't really bring my dragon in with the darkness. Is that going to kill me? That's not going to kill me. Okay, I'm safe to bring the dragon in. So, what do I want to do? I want to start ramping this up. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to win. Shoot. I thought I had a chance. It's a good game. Oh, maybe it's not a good game.
Uh, well, this is interesting because I think I do have a pretty good chance here. Oh, no racial for you. Nice. I was worried. I was pretty worried there at the end. Nice. Well, shoot. I just keep playing with this team. Beat rich girls. <laughs> and and I can't like not get the 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 like uh, Agent Orange song in my head anymore. And especially since I just bought this uh, this this uh, punk comp of these like uh, LA LA punk forty fives and course bloodstains is on it and the the, the the uh 45 version the single the single and uh yeah so now every time every time i face rich girls i get the song bloodstains in my head okay well that was that was a good win um and i'm going to include the links to the original blog pages uh, did i did i mention that i said okay so um I'm going to be playing with teams that I used to play with when I first started the blog back in July of 2013. So, yeah. Um, hmm. Well, I guess if that team's around. See, that's a that's a blighted squirrel. That's not a that's not an infected squirrel i don't i don't ever see infected squirrels i know some pro pet battlers like the infected squirrel um you know snow used to i mean this is from like way back forum days but snow used to use it a lot ron stafora used to use it a lot um i would imagine that brawler uses it <laughs> i'm so sorry brawler if you don't but i would imagine it seems like a it seems like a pro pet that that he would use because because he's pro man um okay uh, I'm scared. I guess I, I I did. I wasn't intentionally Q dodging. Maybe I was. Maybe I was intentionally Q dodging. Okay, let's see how the Jade Oozling fares against that Bone Serpent. Cause okay, Acid Bath. So um, this is another team from July 2013. Mop. So yeah, not a lot of people use um, in, infected squirrel, including including myself. God, it's it, it can be so good if you can if you can actually get the creeping fungus and then the stampede up. And the blighted squirrel, to some degree, is um, similar. You know, it. I don't think wood chipper and stampede do as much damage, but it's got a, a little bit more uh, defense there. So what I usually do is do. Oh, okay. So we're okay here maybe um so core fire imp doesn't have a swap it's like eh, use the imp swap it out shoot i guess i'll start with this okay i'm like what do i do i don't have a swap i feel so naked um we'll start that oh okay should i should have saw seen seen that coming Actually, actually, I was thinking it was gonna breath me. I was thinking, what, I, what am I gonna do for breath? So, but I should have, I should have looked at all my options. Guys, got. Uh, let me, let me, let me bring in the, the the critter. I made a new snail team today, and 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 I I, I, I sold out, man. I used a, I used a different snail. I used the the mud shell conch or something like that. I thought it was a shimmer shell. It had the same exact stats. So it was like, uh. Anyways, I'm a sellout, man. I'm a snail sellout. I'm cheating on my snail. Um, yeah. In case you didn't notice. Uh, wild magic and and DOTs, uh, they do a lot of damage. Uh, okay, are you gonna do this again or are you gonna heal? Let's play smart. Oh, yeah, pull the fast one on you, buddy. What are you gonna do now? Probably gonna heal. How are we looking at that final matchup? The Jade Oozling is actually not a good pet for a final matchup because it doesn't have a lot of health. It can die pretty quickly, and it's slow, which is a bad combination. 
slow and low health okay well you know what we're gonna do here then well gotta be careful dark rebirth that can really mess you up if you're not careful let's come back with the snail oh I'm, I'm, I'm dreading that final match up there I'm actually gonna bring the jade boozling in now I don't think it would be that bad but I'm just uh I'm thinking that the snail is going to do okay, namely because I can do what I did. when I can anticipate their lift off, and then, um, oh crap, I should have healed right there, but they swapped, so that's fine. Why am I faster? The Jade Oozling is faster than something? Whoa. That's crazy. And there you go. That's what I was afraid of. But, you know, I do have that racial going for me, so I think I can heal, and you might die in the sky. Oh, you're gonna. Oh, you're gonna heal. Do, these people will do anything to prove me wrong. I'm just being. I'm being paranoid. Um. Well. Oh, I died. Okay. Mm, I believe I'm faster. 250. Yeah, 257. Uh. Yeah, I really. Th I really thought I screwed up that first battle. I'm still thinking of it right now. I think I played this team a lot. I didn't keep records back then. I wish I would have, but I'm pretty sure I played this team a lot. Pre 5.3, because the uh, Corefire Imp was my go to imp before the Fiendish Imp. You know, for, for, and I would, instead of Gate, I would use Immolation and Wild Magic, like I just used. So. Hey, where are they now? They're still doing okay, at least during the Critter event. Oh, hell no. That first that first victory to the moon. No, I, I was going to say that's a pro victory, but I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think I did, I did that well. The main thing I did in the end was not get hit with darkness. Not, not, not put my dragon in to get hit with darkness, but I, I wouldn't say I was a tactical genius on that one okay the big baddies this team looks good um yes i used to howl bomb sometimes i know i'm always saying oh my god these new players and their howl bombs yeah i used to do it sometimes too with mr bigglesworth mr bigglesworth used to be good i think in 5.2 he was he was, he was probably a, a tier one pet say klr Z Raptors. Uh, oh, and Mr. B I'm like, uh, what else? Yeah, Mr. Bigglesworth. Possibly, possibly. All right, well, it looks like I'm having, uh, I want to say an easy time here, but that's poss that's not true. You start with the fossilized hatchling. I think I'm going to start with Mr. Bigglesworth, even though the rabbit might seem like a better choice. And I'm going to put this up for the stun. And then now I could bring the wolf out. But I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the... Oh, God! That, no, no, no! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! So bad. Here, i got to block my own attack here because what if I swap and he heals? <laughs> I forgot this blocks both. Attacks from both users. Okay, so I would have been okay anyway, but... Boy, would I have felt silly. So here's what I want to do. I think he's only going to get one more Bone Storm off if he stays in. I think my little bad wolf can take that. And then on his undead round, you always want something to do on the undead round. Uh, I'm going to throw up this Ice Tomb. So this is this going to kill him 211? No, not quite. Almost, but not quite. So, let's go and take him out here. Oh, no, 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 no. Not going to work. Why? Oh, okay, it's going to work. Um, because, I was going to say, because... I'm just thinking about this Dark Rebirth right now. Pet Battle Week is so cool, man. Like, you, you have to think about different things. Stay in with this guy. Nah. Wait, how much damage does that do? Okay. 
Um, I think I will, cause I just I don't want to go back DOT and then have him come back in and bone storm me. I was, however, thinking of the hair absorbing some 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 weak damage, but ooh, that was not a good move. Doesn't really matter. I mean. I guess I'm just going to bring this guy out because I don't want him to have to take um, a hit on the back line from Bone Storm. Yeah, duh, that's, that's the obvious call. I mean, from a health perspective, standpoint it doesn't look like I'm doing that great but I think I'm okay actually you know what I'm gonna be safe here because if this if this guy gets off a heel you know I don't know if the rabbit has enough firepower to, to take out the dragon so I'm gonna be careful and this isn't that big a deal you know I've, I've lost plenty of battles from complaint that due to complacency you know it's like oh yeah I got this and then I don't got it so I'm just being careful here that's all uh, probably heal first and then up in the sky after that so when he goes up in the sky I'm going to go underground Unless he surprises me here. Nope, up in the sky. I could dodge, but I'll... Complacency. I was like, but I could do this instead. And I didn't even think about it. I'm just like, just going for it. I could have dodged there. All right, we got it. But see, I mean... The, 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 the classic dragon moveset can, can actually mess you up sometimes if you're not careful. Throwing a dragon kin racial? I mean, I don't know. But anyways, okay. Um, that team was pretty good. Uh, what else? Bleeding shock. Well, I only have two more. I only have bleeding teams now, so I suppose I could have looked a little harder when I made these teams. I probably got some other ones floating around down down below somewhere. Uh, bleeding shock, sure. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, fiendish amp was still pretty new at that time. I think in July of two thousand thirteen. This worries me. <sighs> so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the the DOT because it's a it's an aquatic. I'm going to swap out to my bear. That might force him to swap, but that's okay. Then he'll be taking. Uh, Oh, not gonna swap. Okay. Now, do I want to use my maul again? That, that that might hit low. Maul is definitely gonna kill. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the kill. This 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 pet too used to be kind of good. I mean, I know I'm saying that, um, but it, it was like it hit it hits hard. This this the 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 the, the PP um, flame guy. Uh, don't don't get don't make me think of Hearthstone. Okay, I hate that dude in Hearthstone. Um, let's stay in here. Stay in and just go for it. I got two more blood in the waters. It's kind of nice about this team. We got a lot of got a lot of damage on this team. I'm gonna consume corpse probably. 
Or he could bash me next turn and I'd be like, oh, snap. Either way, you got something good to do here. This I, this team worried me when I saw it. I just like, uh, I didn't get that sense of like, oh, I got this. This is easy. Okay, so neither bash nor consume corpse is used. Okay, so we got a dragon. He doesn't have anything strong against elementals or aquatics. Let me go ahead and use my razor tooth now so I can save Snarly for the uh, aquatic damage there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take put this up and hope I win the toss. Okay, well, didn't win the toss, but it wouldn't have mattered. All right, you got shields to do damage. I got shields to do damage. You know what would be real cool? Oh, does it say direct damage? Let's see. Oh, that was that was weak. What what the hell happened there? What? Oh, I don't, I don't get what just happened. I thought I was gonna do a lot more damage than that. Um, possibly big. Oh yeah, it was big, man. Um, sixty-nine. It's gonna survive. Damn it. Damn it. Good job, shields. Okay, that could have been so much worse. All right, well, Graves is going to do weak damage. However, I don't have much health. Probably going to consume at some point, or that. That's fine. Oh, I'm going to definitely not win. Oh, I'm going to lose. Well, well, no, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. So... <laughs> that's funny maybe i make myself lose i was just like i got a, I had such a bad feeling going into it i was just like uh, how is this all gonna work out what could i what could i have done better there maybe i don't use lightning shield right away because I just use lightning shield thinking like, oh, this is going to be cool. You know, your shields, I have, you have shields, I have shields. I didn't really think about it too hard. I don't know that it that, but, but I actually, I don't, how much did that block though? Because it seemed like I wasn't doing, I mean, I'm not saying, oh, I lost from some bug, but just, I wasn't keeping that close uh, I, I wasn't paying that close of attention, but it seems like my lightning shield should have done more damage than it did. Maybe there's some hidden factor I'm forgetting. Like you know, sometimes you, you forget like that the one of the, the, the those racials to do the, the, don't get used that often. <laughs> like stuttering here. Um, like at some point I forgot like about the aquatic racial doing like less damage for dot's and it was just like uh eh. um totally forgot about it but uh i'm saying maybe there's something i forgot about and i'd have to look at the numbers again but it seemed like i should have been doing more damage there but i probably i just forgot something most likely it happens okay well we've seen bleeding shock bleeding blight is a much better team um i think Yeah, there's a there's there were a lot of things that I could have done differently there. I think you know maybe I don't. I'm like yeah, I'll just stay in with the infested bear cub. No, actually that was the right thing to do because the he had a dot on him and he would have gone to the back, and then Graves could have uh oh well I get my chance for redemption here. Well, this is gonna be cool because. He, this guy, the, the the blighted squirrel, unless he starts with his death talon well guard. Good. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. He's going to survive this guy. The, my blighted squirrel will survive the flame waker. I 
pink. <laughs> now that it's happening, I'm just like, oh, that didn't that didn't that didn't look too great right there. What? Oh my god, dude. That sucks. I'm sad. Okay. But let's do this. Let's play better with our other two pets. I did think about that one, and I did know it was going to be weak damage. I thought he could handle it. I, th I thought on the Blighted Squirrel's Undead Round that he, he would kill and then have an Undead Round where he could apply the bleed to the next pet. That's what I thought was going to happen. But... Here's where this is going to be great. Oh, no. No thinking for you. You can't think about these things. Okay, well, this is where bleed is, is a good, shows how strong it is. Because that guy swapped out. That was a good, that was a good use of of your bash there. Just stay in. Now I think I'm okay here. Okay, you do this. I'm gonna hit you here. Oh, I still might not be able to get the bleed on Graves. Dang. Dang. I think I'm okay. Unless I get... Oh, he doesn't have his bash. I'm good this battle. I'm good this battle. Oh, nice to get a little redemption there. Even though... Even though it went bad in the beginning, I don't think there's any way Graves can survive this. Even if he bashes, sorry, clobber, I use those two interchangeably. Um, he's going to die from, from the tick. Okay. Whew. All right, well, not bad. My, my, my hat goes off to you, sir. Um... I don't take this on the the, the whelpling. What do, what do I usually take um, on the whelp guard? Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, I usually take whirlwind, but that worked out pretty well in that battle. So yeah, I might as well finish it off and get my very best here if I can let's see so let's go back here those were the five teams I was planning on using oh crap I've been saving my videos and I haven't checked my uh, my memory I don't want to oh that's a good team but okay I want to find something that I know that I used in July I was just looking at those blog pages and oh crabby smacker let's see if we can find something else hmm wow i got i got a lot of my mop teams in here ah this one do i want do i want to do that do I want to go for the fifth win, and or do I want to? I mean, do I want to just basically say, "Oh, for, forget these new people. I'm not going to be an ambassador of pet battling. I'm just going to go for the W." Let's go back. Let's see if. Let's see if. Uh, which is the worst team that I use? Let's go with the Acid Bath again. I think that's probably the or Bleeding Shock. Now nah, it's still pretty good. I think acid. Well, it would be nice to try to get some redemption with bleeding shock. Let's try it. Let's try it. Although acid bath is a much more interesting team. I don't need redemption. Let's go with interesting. The reason I don't want to play with Krabby Smacker because I think at that time. Oh, you know what? Oh, scared.
back when I used to play this team, and apparently I've been playing it, um, I used to take uh, Stone Rush and Crystal Overload instead of Elementium Bolt, which Elementium Bolt is just more fun. Here's why. Idols, idols, idols. There were there used to be way more idols than there are now. But you know what just hit me? There's a lot of idols now because it's the event. So um, I like Stone Rush against idols because it just does it. it oh, it's rough, man. That's rough. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm hoping to just do some big damage with this guy. It doesn't have a lot of health, so I was afraid to put it on the back line because of that cyclone. So I'm just going to try to just mess someone up here. All right, who's coming in? Oh, you're going to stay there? Oh, I might kill myself right here. Okay, I didn't do that. <laughs> Almost. Awesome. I crit myself. That should be a name of a guild. I'm sure that's a guild name. I crit myself. <laughs> please do rain. Oh my god, you used rain dance. That's so awesome. I was like, please use rain dance. Please use rain dance. They totally use drain dance. Okay. Um, there's hope for us. I want to take this guy out quick. So I'm not even going to put my shields up. Ouch. Ouch. So much ouch. Cool. Now, the weak... Part of this is the war bot, definitely. <clears throat> oh, I should have I should have surged. Damn, that was a bad move. I should have sur I, I I thought they were gonna um nature's war crap why well, would surge have been a good move because it would have shut down the second alpha strike so here, here's what I'd like to happen I'd like for them to do their like uh, okay this is actually working out kind of cool um, I'd like for Blighthawk to come back in Oh, he's going for it. When the Blighthawk, what's the speed on that Blighthawk 244? Okay, how can I do this? I want the Warbot to come in and get its extra plating up against the Blighthawk. Okay. Here, and, and I have to think about the bug, too. The um, <clears throat> the undead racial bug, but I'm not okay. This is great. This is perfect. Because here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put this up this turn, and then he's gonna bring his blight hawk in, or not. Nice. I didn't. I didn't expect to win that one. Oh, crabby smacker for the win. I crit, I crit myself. There's got to be a guild called I Crit Myself. Okay. No, it's not that clever. To, to me, it's funny. Though. Remember, I teach middle school, so things that rhyme with crit are funny to me. Just, just inherently, you know? Okay, well, good job, crabby smacker. Um, where are they now? Well, they're five and one now. Uh... But that's only because it's the event. I don't think that... Okay, Krabby Smacker, 
probably not going to do that well. And I shouldn't be too full of myself either. Like, oh, I'm so good because because it's the event and a Terra Claw hatchling in the hands of an experienced battler would not have let that happen just now. There's they they just wouldn't it, it they just wouldn't have let it happen. And and that's exactly um why I was mentioning that I think the bone serpent is so much more scary than the Terra Claw hatchling because you have a lot of new players using the Terraclaw Hatchling and using the Bone Serpent because they're both so good. However, the Terraclaw Hatchling, it does take some experience, skill, and thought to, to make it work. You don't just throw it in there and keep it in like that player did. Um, whereas a Bone Serpent, you can. You can just throw it in there. I mean, I didn't really finish that player. You, you, you don't keep a Terraclaw Hatchling in like that. That's not why it's good, okay? You do your damage, you, you cast Dodge, and then you do your it's Nature's Ward, and then you head to the back line and heal. It's so fast. The Terraclaw Hatchling, I mean, it'll get its flying racial back and be fast again, and then you start the process all over you don't let it tank for you okay so just just to, if, if there's any new bat not that i want like experienced <laughs> terra claw hatchlings out there god they're scary um but the bone serpent you just throw it out there and press your buttons and you win so uh the bone serpent is a little more scary because it doesn't it doesn't take a lot of skill to use so anyways i'm i'm pleased with the results today even though like again like i said it's the um event but what was i going to do before i started going on that terra claw versus bone serpent to the moon might do okay um it actually beat rich girls i don't see rich girls a lot anymore uh which has surprisingly come up a lot in this event um or i've had to face it a lot um big baddies you, you know ra rabbits are always going to be good uh i don't know about having two 325 speed pets i almost screwed up with the ice barrier um ice barrier blocks any moves not just the enemy's moves so if you throw up ice tomb and then ice barrier like somebody did if your opponent doesn't attack or you don't attack the the ice barrier will block your ice tomb okay so be aware of that this team i remember this team was super fun i used to love playing this team because you know you see the dude i'm bringing this team back wouldn't it be cool if i took this team to 100 wins no promises because you know that's tough but um that's a i remember i always enjoyed playing this team because you know you put your you put your uh wild magic up and then your your you know well immolation then wild magic and you bring your snail or or your jade oozling in and it's just like those numbers are huge those dot numbers are huge but would it work in today's uh meta i don't think so i don't think it would work that well uh i'm sure at some point i i swapped in the fiendish imp for this core fire imp and tried it with that but who knows oh you know what i don't think i've had a chance yet but i was or did i no i don't think i did um i was trying oh no i did i did win um i'm all excited i did i did win uh because there's been a lot of rich girls i was trying to uh, find a rich girls counter oh maybe i actually lost i did i remember i fought rich girls with this team and and i mean the the the, the fox went to town on the on the uh the bone serpent um yeah i'm pretty sure i won because the fox destroyed the bone serpent and had a lot of health left and then with the dazzling dance i think they might have run away but um i thought this was kind of a cool rich girls counter because it's funny that i called it that because I'm the scumbag that invented it, but uh, no comment. Uh, 
<laughs> when other people use my teams, they're scum. When I use them, I'm, I'm the strategic genius. Just, I'm just kidding. Um, flyers, strong against flyers, strong against elementals, blocks, the shell shield. I mean, uh, blocks the uh, bone barrage. So it seems like it can do good things against all three of those pets. And then, of course, you got your fox. Um, I thought about maybe taking a faster snail because if you're going to buff your speed, well, it doesn't, it doesn't do much good. I mean, it doesn't help you much to buff your 195 speed and give that plus 25%. You're still lower than 250. So, yeah, that doesn't really do anything. But I like this. I, like, I usually take the shimmer shell, shimmer shell Snail, but these two have the same uh, stat line. 1790, a lot of health, a lot of power. If you're going to go slow, go slow all the way. And then the Ore Eater, that's good versus the Elemental. This is good versus the Bone Barrage. Of course, you don't want to stay in against the... Uh, bone serpent but you know later on after the bone serpent's gone you bring this pet in and put up your shell armor now that bone serpent isn't hitting you SS is faster although again if it is designed specifically to counter that team nah I was gonna say you could go with a maybe the 305 or something maybe even a maybe even a slower breed so that um, <clears throat> You can, can you can be faster with than the the elemental the nightshade uh, sproutling with your dazzling dance, but I don't like to count on dazzling dance. There dazzling dance. There would be n nothing worse than you know, going in at the end of the battle and then getting owned with your ore eater, because the nightshade sproutling could blind it. And then, you know, to cast darkness. And then, well, if you had your shell she shell armor up, big difference. Shell armor. Did I say shell shield? I might have said shell shield for this one. Because it is shell shield. This one's shell armor. Oh, no, that's interesting. That's an interesting call. Well, what, what do you think about that? If I'm trying to fight rich girls here, if I'm trying to counter rich girls with... Uh, I can't remember what my old counter used to be. Um, oh, you know what I used to counter it with? Here, I'll get to that in a second. Let me finish this thought. I know, amazing, right? I'm going to finish the thought. Um, would you take the SS? Would you take the SS here? If you're specifically specifically trying to counter rich girls. Um, but I believe my old counter may have been Ginsu Brothers or Macarena Prohibited. Because, oh, good to remember. I'm glad I remember because I couldn't remember. Uh, I, I've been encountering that team and I'm like, what do I do? What do I do against this team? I used to face that combo so much. I know I have a counter. And it was probably these guys. I'm not sure where Trunks fits in here. Maybe it wasn't this team. Oh, yeah, it was Trunks because he can absorb the nocturnal strike and well i don't know maybe not i don't remember to be honest i don't remember but i know it was a fragment of anger so it can hit that um it can hit that uh bird in the back line so it was it was probably it was probably one of those two teams Mm, it wasn't that one. I don't. I don't know why I'd bring an aquatic, and I definitely wouldn't bring a dragon to that fight intentionally. Um, I got. I got a lot of. I got, <laughs> I got a lot of fragment of anger teams here. Um, uh, I don't know. But anyways, I have come up with a new uh counter for rich girls because i've been seeing it more it'll probably it'll probably go away maybe not maybe someone gets the bug you know and they're like and they're like oh cool this 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 <laughs> this pet battle team and this pet battle stuff is fun I, that's a salty name right there i can tell like i was mad 
Like, you did this. You did this to me. You made me have to run these pets. But, I don't know. Get salty sometimes. Like the, like the next person. Okay. Well, anyways. Um, where are they now? The, I think I should do that every month. That would be cool. And then, well, if I make that many videos. But maybe next month oh, I can do where are they now? September teams. Teams from four years ago. That's kind of awesome. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll put a link to the to the to the blog um, entries for those teams that I played. Although I think when I first started, I think I I remember at some point I realized I like was capitalizing way too much stuff. Well, like like certain moves moves and weathers and things. And I talked to like actually talked to an English teacher. <laughs> And I was like, uh, what should I be capitalizing here when I'm talking about pet battles? And so I changed it since then. But um, expect a lot of capitalization. Sorry. Sorry, English majors. Okay. I'm really out this time. Thanks for watching.